welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Maybelline 24 hour stay matte foundation. I've heard really 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 great things about this of course. I'm in the shade 128 warm nude. Um, of course when you buy foundations off of drugstore you don't really get to try it. So um, I've just guessed and picked my foundation so let's just hope this matches my skin color but from what it looks like I think it really matches my skin tone. This one is supposed to be a full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear seamless matte finish which I love because I have oily skin so anything matte I really love it. Breathable and comfortable on the skin, fades and transfer free, oil free, doesn't clog pores. Okay, so it's basically all the good stuff. I love the packaging. It's a glass bottle. It has a pump, which is great. Any foundation that it comes in a pump. Now, my biggest complaint with the Fit Me foundation from Maybelline I had was that it was that pouring thing. It didn't have a pump. Anything that doesn't have a pump, I feel like builds in bacteria or like sometimes you end up pouring a lot more than you pretty much need for your face and I don't like that. This foundation retails for $11.99. I'm gonna apply one side with a beauty blender that's right here and I'm gonna apply the other side of my face with a foundation brush. Now I'm only going to do that because I want to see which one applies better. Of course I have my eye makeup done. Now I'm going to be applying um, the Porefessional primer to my face. I could have tried a different primer, but I thought like since I'm doing a, a review, I would want to use the best primer that's out there. So you know, like I don't, I know that like this is the primer that has always worked for my skin and I know this will hopefully work with this foundation as well. So now I'm going to pump a pea size and put it all over my problem area. that no matter what primer I use, I keep going back to this. I'm going to shake this bottle, taking it in the back of my hand. Okay, come out. Now, with a flat foundation brush, so I took pretty much like two pumps, and I'm going to dot it all over my face. Do foundation with your hair. Pull you guys a little bit closer. This absolutely matches my skin tone, as you guys can tell. So I did a really good job picking foundation without trying. Okay, I really love how it has applied to my face. I use literally like a pump and a half, and I think that has pretty much covered a lot. I mean, I could just like not use concealer at all, but I'm going to do it because I want to see how they layer. Okay, so now I have a damn beauty blender right here. I'm going to be taking the same like a pump and a half of the foundation and I'll just go to town. It's the same dotting method since I did it on the other side. This is a really full coverage foundation. I love it so far. I think I might even love it a little more than like the Fit Me. Now whatever excess I have, I'm just gonna drag it down to my neck. Get closer to the mirror and I wanna see which side did better. I think the Beauty Blender side did a lot better. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be like, oh, it looks the damn same, but no, I can see a huge difference. Um, my This side looks like airbrushed finished and this side isn't bad either. I just feel like if I want that flawless airbrushed look, um, so I prefer using a beauty blender. Okay, now that I have my foundation on, I'm going to quickly put some concealer. And that's pretty much it. I really want to see how everything layers on top of my skin and just go from there. I 
I think the products are layering really, really well so far. Use some blush from the same thing. Everything that I layered to my face just looks great and works great with this foundation. I would really give this foundation a freaking 10 star. I know if you guys buy this foundation, you're not going to regret it. It is so, so, so good. And the only plus point uh, from this and the Fit Me is that this comes with a pump and that one doesn't. So if I had to pick between the two, I think this is definitely my favorite. My face looks flawlessly matte and of course for uh, people who prefer a little bit of dewy skin, you could always mix facial oils to your foundation and that will give you a dewy, gorgeous finish. And this is full coverage foundation. You guys saw I really didn't need a concealer on my face, which is a great thing. Like, you know, why would you want to layer 20 things to your face when one thing can do the work? I quickly need to do my lips because I completely forgot about that. This is a beautiful color. So this one is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Antwerp. So I absolutely adore this foundation. I think it is the best and I love it. Every single thing has sat down on my face beautifully. I have another video to shoot. So I'm going to keep this foundation all day long and just see how it wears. I'm going to put my final thoughts on like my Instagram as you know, this foundation is the best. I love it. It's legit like a 10 on 10 and I'm so glad I picked this up. Maybelline is really making some great makeup these days. Alright guys, that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Before you guys leave, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!